Hey guys, Sharla here with Dragonfly Soul Healing. So I just came on today to do a reading, um, little energy check-in and, you know, curious, have you guys felt that energy shift we had this last few days, that full moon? Ah, uh, wow, it sure brought in some energy, huh? Um, you know, I think that more than anything, it was a recognition of how easily triggered we can be and how even when we don't recognize uh, it right away, how the darkness is trying to pull us backwards. And, you know, I think that right now there's such a need to stand in your own truth, even, even when people are trying to take that away from you. Um, you know, sometimes there's going to be people in your world that just don't understand you and who you are, but it's about understanding yourself and recognizing too that it's okay to go to that place of darkness and, and take that time to reflect on what it is that the universe is trying to show you sometimes we get so lost in trying to figure things out that we don't realize that sometimes there's nothing we can do and there's nothing we can understand except for go through the emotions um you know what do i really want to point out here because there's a few things on the table that are kind of sticking out to me. The first one I'll, I'll point out is the Archangel Raphael card here. It says, I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. And it's like, right now, you're going through some things that you need to trust in your own intuition, trust your vibes. Um, you need to trust in yourself right now. You can feel it. You feel the energy off of her even. It's like such a calm understanding. And I also have the Just Breathe card here as well. And it's kind of showing you that it's time to connect to our higher self. And it's, it's time to reflect. Interesting, behind that is the Seek Your Truth. Seek the Truth. Um, it seems as though something has been revealed, um, bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups. Hmm. It's like, something's been revealed here. I'm, I have this school, or the school card was under it, the problem solving card here, and it says resolution. And you know, when you see it, when I first had this card end, because it was one of the first decks that I had shuffled, it was seeing the missing puzzle pieces. And it was kind of like, you don't have all of the answers yet. And this is why things feel so messy. Um, because you don't see things from the perspective that is necessary right now. I don't know what that means. Um, like the veil's being lifted. And interesting enough, I was listening to a reading. Was it last night? And they were talking about how when the veil is thin, that is when you have people coming in trying to take from you. Um, trying to remove this balance that you've been finding in your world, right? There's such a balance here. And, and in this balancing act, you're getting the pieces to the puzzle. Because even the very soon card over here, very soon, is showing up. And it's like very soon you're going to understand why these things happened the way they did. I think that... <clears throat> You already understand, you know, this, the ringmaster of scrutiny here is saying discernment, clear vision, details, but it's like he's working on something here, something that others don't know about. 
And it's like, there's no worry of who he is. You know, interesting enough, the prison waif is underneath that. It's like a very Eight of Swords card, self-sabotage, poverty consciousness. It's like, <clears throat> in this card, I always see how she can actually escape here, right? She literally has a place, but she's allowing the darkness to overtake her. And literally, the light is shining right here. But the thing is that the light's always there. So if you need to go into a deep reflection to understand something deeper, know that the light is still here waiting for you. Yeah, because underneath that, divine guidance, higher knowing. It's like because the light is here waiting for you. You see, even here, you've got the owl here, the white owl. It's one of my favorite, my favorite birds back home. You know, it's like right now there's so much going on behind the scenes that you don't know about. And yet they're still like push forward. Take the time to reflect if need be. Take the time to sit with your thoughts. Take the time to heal yourself because even this card here, the healing begins underneath. That's three sword cards we got here. You see that? Three swords. We got the four of swords, the seven of swords, and also the six of swords. So very air energy, very communicative energy, very, a lot of blue, right? All of these cards, the, the swords in this deck are blue, very throat chakra, um, some kind of speaking your truth, um, empathy here says, uh, I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. Interesting, because I feel like we need to recognize why people are trying to pull us back um, for the sake of being able to grow and accept them as who they are as well, right? Because some people are not going to be ready to grow with you. And that's okay. And it's, and it's a bit of a challenge. And I think that it triggers us as the tower card comes out here, <laughs> interesting, isn't it? Um, the tower card comes out here, and, and that's what I feel like has happened. Um, this week, since the weekend, is when I noticed the energy starting to shift, but it was uh, Monday that it kind of, it really felt like this tower came down. And, you know, we've been getting the tower card in the, in the psychic heart for the tarot deck, with that lady with the lightning bolt taking the foundation out, it seems as though now we've had the, the real one. You know, I kept talking about this foundation crumbling and crumbling and crumbling over and over. That card kept, you know, just kept coming out. And here we have it in a new deck, the tower coming out again. And it's like, listen, guys, remember what I was talking about with that, that card where it was like, you need to take the pieces of your heart that you had understood wrap it in a, in a little package and let that foundation crumble, the tower hit. And you felt it. I felt it. Shit, did I feel it. You know, and I know I was not alone because I have talked to several different people, all of which were going through some kind of, some kind of crazy stuff. You know, like there's a lot of, I don't even know what to, I don't even know what to say about it. To be honest with you, the energy went from, so motivational to very destructive, very, very fast. And I believe that it is due to this career transition we're all going through. We're all being forced out of <clears throat> our old ways. And again, I talked to you guys about how we have these things happening to push us forward. And interesting enough, I had to go through a box. I was looking for something the other day. And I found this thing here. Um, it was from a past life regression I did, I don't know, probably a couple years ago now. But in it, what she took from it, which wasn't much, but 
it was enough. It was something I found yesterday. So I want to read it to you guys. I am powerful. It is safe for me to be powerful in this life. It is safe to share my knowledge and my wisdom. I stand in my power. I freely express myself. People need to hear my wisdom. It helps them. I open myself to others and this brings good people into my life. Together we make a big voice. And for me, that, um, that last sentence, together we make a big voice, was the biggest thing in my past life regression that I was doing at the time because at that time I had seen how we need to get get knowledge out there how we need to step into this place of higher knowing illumination non-judgment i mean i could keep going the cosmos as to how everything is as it needs to be how the universe can rain down when you're ready the light even in the darkness right it's like I seen a long time ago how together our voice was necessary. Together our voice made a loud shift or, you know, it, it, it changes things in a way that is necessary for us right now because of the fact that we're in such a chaotic state. The world is literally in a tower moment. You see it all over the place. I mean, for God's sakes, people are running around beating the shit out of each other for fucking toilet paper. Like, we gotta wake up. You know, I don't judge to a point. I feel like I my heart hurts for them. And again, this is taking us back to I'm open to seeing both sides of the situation. We have so many people that are blind to the truth to the reality of, of the the fact that the freaking government, that the universe has us in this state and the universe is trying to help us get out of this, but we have so much dark energy trying to control this. Trying to control the fear, trying to control the light, trying to decide whether or not the light is real or not. You know, and and that's not their choice. It's our choice to figure it out. It's our choice to awaken to this light, to see the truth, to remove ourselves from these circumstances and connect to source because it's only here that we're going to see the truth. I mean, we it's time to get out. Look at, I mean, this, this deck is literally everything is about spirit right now. Everything is about connecting, you know. It's one card after the next, after the next. It's talking about this one. Spirit communication, pay attention, divine guidance, higher knowing, illumination, enlightenment, reflection, non-judgment. You know, like, <coughs> excuse me, there's so many things focusing on that. And I will end it with the wheel here. The wheel of fortune card comes up. It says a time of positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. So if you choose to keep pushing for that light, if you choose to not allow that darkness to overtake you, if you choose to listen to your higher guidance, seek the truth, find that light. Remove that veil that's over our eyes. Remove that deceit that is all around us right now. And know that there is more pieces to the puzzle coming if you just seek the truth. If you just find what your truth is, speak your truth, understand your own truth. Did I repeat it enough? <laughs> okay, guys, so I hope this makes sense and um, I will chat with you guys soon. Take care.